different type of people at Juma part one. First, we have the guy who's always early to Juma. As you can see, he's the only one in the masjid, mashallah. Next, we have the people who always put their back on the wall. I'm telling you, if you don't have a medical disease that's stopping you from sitting up straight, if you sit on the wall, you're kind of lazy. They'll always fight for spots on the wall. And at the end of the day, they force themselves to sit there like it's crazy. <coughs> I'm one of them. Anyways, next we have the uncle who's always trying to push you into the tightest of spaces. Like, look how he pushes me up. Like, I can't even stand straight. And then you have to angle yourself and then you're praying sideways and your arm is behind one. Like, it's crazy. Next, we have the guy who's always super late. Like, he missed the khutbah and salah. You could tell the only thing that he came for was to talk to Fatima's baba after salah. Like, he wasn't even coming on time for salah. Like, how do you miss that? Next, we have the guys who just come to Juma just to use their phone. Like, they'll just be on the wall, scrolling on Instagram, sending selfies on Snapchat. Like, bro, focus on the khutbah or something. Like, this is not a chill-out time. This is time to learn more about your Islam. Learn more about your deen. Like, put your phone down and focus. Next, we have the guy who's always in a rush he blocks off two families cars while he's parking he runs to the masjid and he kicks his shoes off never puts his shoe on the rack by the way and then he runs to the masjid and then after the khutbah when they're making an announcement to come get your car he will look around like it's not his car like yes it's your raggedy honda civic get up and go move your car you're blocking people people have to go to work yes you get up and go move your raggedy smaggedy looking honda civic bye lastly we have the guy who has no spatial awareness and takes all the space for himself he will literally push you out the way just so he can have space to pray and you'll look at him like he's crazy he'll look at you like you're crazy and then he'll start his prayer like nothing happened